Fire Debris Database Sample Preparation Samples in the Fire Debris Database consist of a combination of substrate and ignitable liquid samples. We prepare each sample individually before they are combined. First, we will discuss the preparation of an ignitable liquid sample. Typically, ignitable liquid residues in fire debris are weathered. In other words, the heat of the fire evaporates the ignitable liquid if present. We evaporate the ignitable liquid whereby the remaining liquid becomes our weathered ignitable liquid residue. The ignitable liquid residue is diluted with a solvent and then analyzed by GCMS following ASTM E1618. Now we will discuss the preparation of substrate samples. Substrates are burned utilizing a modified destructive distillation method. Pyrolysis and combustion products are extracted from the fire debris by passive headspace adsorption following ASTM E1412. The volatile products absorb onto an activated carbon strip and are then extracted with a solvent. The extracted volatile products are analyzed utilizing the same GCMS method as the ignitable liquids. As previously mentioned, records in our fire debris database will consist of combined substrate and ignitable liquid samples, as in the following example. Fire debris samples with no ignitable liquid residue are designated here as FD sub and contain one to three of the substrate solutions. Fire debris samples with an ignitable liquid residue, designated here as FDILR, contain one to three substrate solutions and one weathered ignitable liquid solution. The fire debris solutions are analyzed utilizing the same GCMS method as the ignitable liquids. The plots demonstrate the contribution of ignitable liquid and substrates in the fire debris sample. The black total ion chromatogram in the upper section is the fire debris sample. The blue total ion chromatogram in the lower section is the substrate or substrates in the fire debris sample. The red total ion chromatogram in the lower section is the ignitable liquid in the fire debris sample. The ratio of ignitable liquid solution to substrate solution in the collection of fire debris samples varies. The ratio is based on the relative peak height of the most abundant compound in the substrate total ion chromatogram and the peak height of the most abundant compound in the ignitable liquid total ion chromatogram. The various ratios with ignitable liquid residues are weak, moderate, and strong. Those fire debris samples with no ignitable liquid are designated as none. Please watch the next video in this series, Sample Search and Results.